Welcome back to the Horrible Wrong Show. It's been uh, quite some time since I've been able to say that properly. So, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of I'm excited about it. I'm, I'm happy to be able to uh, be back in this place again. Um, for those who don't know, the Horrible Wrong Show, uh, at its very core, is 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 about creative people doing creative things. And I guess if I were to, you know, uh, uh, define exactly what. Uh, why it's been so long. I think the last episode was probably back in February, March. Um, I, I guess the reason is that I, I haven't really been doing anything creative. And not to be too egotistical here, but... Uh, no, no, that's not even correct, because I have been creative, I just haven't been creative on YouTube. And that's that's really what what the Horborong show and, and all of this is about. It's, it's, it's about, you know, uh, me being creative on, on YouTube here. And, and the people around me on the interwebs and YouTube and, and all that stuff. So, I guess over the past uh, nine to ten months, you know, my activity online has, has dwindled as my real-life work increased. And I'll, and I'll talk about more, more of that later. Um, but, but, but all in all, it's been difficult uh, to do both. And... Um, I just kind of realized that I'm not where I want to be creatively, and um, it, it was important for me to kind of figure out how to get back to that place um, and, and find that balance. That's that's really what I, I find that my entire life has been about. It's just, or, or my creative life, is it's finding a balance between the things that I want to do and the things that I have to do, but I guess everybody has to deal with that, right? I don't know. Um, so... I've been finding that balance and finding a better way to achieve that, and um, I, I can't say that I haven't been creative because I have been. I've, I, I'm producing commercials that, that are airing on television and in movie theaters, and that's kind of a big deal. Um, so, uh, But the things that I want to do... On the, I don't even know. I didn't even know what I wanted to be doing. There's a ton of things that I want to do, but it's 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 a question of what I want to do and what I can do. Because if you keep striving for the things that you can't do, you're just faced with this constant rejection and this this constant failure that just gets you down even more. So that in and of itself is is difficult to deal with. Um, so. The uh, trick. I, I don't know what made him say it, but in, in one of his vlogs recently, he he mentioned me and and he said that that I'm I'm working through some stuff, and and I really hadn't given him any any reason to say that I don't think, but he was very very spot on, and um, I I think that that my that that I think that that's what my life has become. You know, I'm constantly working through something. Um, and, and that's what, uh, that's what I'm hoping to inject in Crumbine's brain. I, I, I came to this realization that, you know, the main to anybody's success on, on YouTube has to be consistency. So, um, you know, Crumbine's brain is something that I enjoy doing, obviously, since it's what I do with Crumbine's brain, webcams, talking heads, or any other webcam-based dialogue. That's what Crumbine's brain is, and I don't have to rely on anybody other than myself to do it, which is which is which is key sometimes. It's that that's important. So what what I decided to do um, is is a little bit of a commitment to myself and a commitment to you, my viewers, um, is to do one episode a week. Um, in the last year, when I tried to get back on the Carmine's brain wagon, I I really just powered through and I was like, I'm gonna do three episodes a week. This is what I'm gonna do. I wasn't working at the time, um, so I could I could feasibly do that. But I just went through it. I you know I don't know why I'm wearing this right now. I don't quite need it. Um, it was getting set up for the chat later. Um, I was powering through it, and I was, my goal was these three episodes a, a week to achieve 100 episodes by the end of the year. And this was a year ago. Um, and I just burned myself out on it, as I do many things. So it was important to, you know, again, learn from that, acknowledge that, and, and find a way to move on from it. And what, what I feel is like, what I feel is the balance, again, is 
that with that happy balance, I, I think it's um, you know, one one a week. I can do that. I can do one episode a week, you know, and develop that consistency. Um, you know, so so that's that's my commitment right now to to myself and to my viewers. And you know, as I as I spend more time thinking about it and talking about it and writing, you know, when I first sat down to start writing, I pounded out a couple of scripts and then I just kept writing the next day and the next day. And I've got enough scripts just to probably keep me through the more than enough to keep me through the to the, going through the end of the year without writing any new material. So that's very good uh, for Crumbine's brain. I, I continue to speak of, but. No buts. That's 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 it. That's it. I, I I apologize. I'm a little rough around the edges here. Um, haven't really done this in obviously almost a year's time, uh, and and I'm kind of just jumping right back in. Uh, I don't. Again, Horbrong Show is gonna be about this creative process, the creative process that I go through. Um, for for Crumbine's brain. The raps, I guess, that I'm doing now, you know, anything. I, I'll, I'll talk about probably. I might talk about uh, some of the uh, the professional stuff, the commercials and whatnot that I do do at uh, at, at the dealership. I think I might save that for the chat later. I I, I don't know. I th I think there's a place for that because I think what is lacking, uh, you know, obviously what we're going to be talking about later a lot uh, is, is YouTube and the state of YouTube and. And, and trying to just keep doing what we're doing uh, in a productive sense. Um, and I feel that the place for the Horborong show is that there, 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 it can be a source of, of inspiration and motivation. You know, and you know the, the, the tagline for Horborong Studios is to create, engage, inspire. And I think that um, the Horborong show itself, this chat, can can really facilitate those goals. So I, I feel like if if I can, you know, go interest. I'm already very introspective, and and that that's what Crumbine's brain is about. I mean, all of that is happening constantly inside my head, and I and I'm really, I actually want to bring a, 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 an even a, even higher level of honesty to these new new episodes and new scripts. That, that, that I'm producing. I, I want to present the insanity, the, the, the neurosis that's, that's up here and put that uh, in, into the show in, in a more honest manner. And, and I think I, I can see some of it evolving just through that first episode and hopefully in the scripts it, it'll come out, you know, that I've already written. Hopefully it'll come out even more. But I, I digress even more. Um, I, I, I believe that Horbrong show fundamentally can be a source of inspiration and and motivation and um I, as i've seen through my own personal experience on facebook you know where we talk about these things and we see these things happen and people have questions you know youtube monet you know youtube opened up the whole monetization thing and you know there's been questions about that and uh uh, yeah, the times when I've been able to provide advice, seem, people seem very enthusiastic and happy to receive it. So I think, again, you know, uh, you know, creative people doing creative things and 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 the motivation to do creative things. Because again, this is going to be something we talk about more later. But I think, you know, the the the, the big thing that we we do on a regular basis as as uh, us creatives on YouTube, we we slack off. Animate. I mean, obviously, that's what I did, um, and and I think that we grow complacent with it, and we, we find a way to stay focused, and and you know, hopefully that hopefully hopefully that the Horborong show can be a part of that. You know, that that's my humble uh, little expectation, goal for for this little chat. So that being said, uh, today I am going to, uh, I'm going to be joined by Rob Morgan, Rendered Useless Productions on YouTube. Uh, this is the gentleman that I've been engaged in a rap battle with it for the past, uh, past couple of weeks. The, the, the great Devil Miss wrap off of, uh, 2011, which just has turned out to be this awesome little unexpected, joyous experience. I, I, I really, I really love it. Um, and, and, and I'm very grateful to, to be able to engage with it 
engage in it with, with Rob because because it was just so unexpectedly thought uh, I would be doing something like that. So so that's pretty cool. Um, we'll talk about more that more about that later. But Rob, uh, I, I I have a lot of respect for him and. I was thinking about this earlier, and I was like, well, who, do, who don't I have respect for? And I was like, I don't have respect. I was th- thinking to myself, I respect everybody until they give me a reason not to respect them. But that's not entirely true, as I'm sitting here thinking about it. I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to name any names or anything, but you know, there's people that I, I just don't respect what they do online creatively. But Rob, I do. I do. Um, it's interesting because he is among the very few people who, in spite of this very lax, quiet summer year, uh, he has maintained, in, in even in a s- small, tiny way. Um, is it always the best material? I, you know, I, I with, with all due respect to him, I don't think he's, he's quite there yet. Um, but, you know, I, I have respect that he's still creating and, and, and being creative and, and, and learning um, we're kind of, but we we kind of started got it, got getting into Apple Motion at the same time, um, so so I do have respect for him, um, and essentially, uh, you know, he he brought some stuff up today on Facebook, and we kind of started getting into it. And I was like, you know, I've been talking about uh, getting back to the Horbron show for for enough time now. Screw it, I'm gonna let, let's Skype and let let's let's do the first. Let, let's let's get back to it. Let's let's use this as the as the the foundation to relaunch the Horbron show. So uh, enough of me rambling and 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 looking at myself. Um, again, still warming back up to this. I'll have to get back in the zone of sorts. So please enjoy, Master Rob Morgan. My name's Morgan. They're all bad and wrong. When it's horrible, it's bad and wrong. Hit record and uh, welcome to the big debut of the of the of the Horboron show. Hey, hey. Um, uh, first things first. Uh, I, I actually already recorded an intro uh, for this, where I called it the Horboron Horbron show. show. But what what do you think is better, the, the Horboron Horbron show? I, that sounds so familiar. I know it was. It that, was wasn't there a show way back in the day? Like way like in the beginning of the in the uh, beginning uh, of the year. Yeah, I'm, I, it sounds. Uh, wasn't that Ray William Johnson's channel or something? I don't remember. I haven't seen it in so long. <laughs> this part will get edited out. Yeah, very likely. Yes. <laughs> and then very he'll likely. take this picture of me right here, and throw darts at it. <laughs> no, no, but and I and very briefly, uh, like over the summer, I did like an audio all audio version called the Horbacast. Do you think the Horbacast is just a better title than the Horborong show? Do I think? Um, no, and here's why. Because there's going to be new people that don't understand Horborong. You know, I think keeping it as the Horborong show, because it is Horborong Studios. Okay, that's your name. Throw your name out there. Just, just, just get it. You know, just put it on everything. Put, write it on your forehead if you have to. I'll go actually paint it on my fence this time if you need. But yeah. Um, so you think that the I, like the Horba cast wrong. the Horba cast is just too much of a bastardization? The Horba cast, like, what the heck is a Horba? Ca- What's a Horba? <laughs> you know, they won't get they won't. You know, people just coming into the scene aren't going to put Horba with Horba wrong. Okay. You know, okay. Gonna, maybe, they, well, maybe, they might think it's a sex site. I, but but I, I think it's just a really good name though. Maybe maybe year but, two of the Horborong show. Yeah, we can, after, we can change you know, it too. You know, once it's once it's reestablished, I'll, I'll say reestablished. Re re reestablished. Re, reestablished. <laughs> well, actually, well, the, the funny well, thing is, it's like, well, what, uh, I mean, I probably can't do it this way. Plus, he's not always busy as ever. But where's where's Matt? Um, you, and you know what? I was actually considering extending the invitation invitation to him. I figured, I figured, why not try to set up a three way? Uh, I was, and, and and you know, that's another reason to do iChat because iChat will do that natively without spending any more money. Well, see, uh, I got iChat too. Well, his computer's he, broken, ain't it? I don't think so. Okay, because I talked to him a few days ago about. Oh, it was actually for the second round of uh, the third round of. Uh, the, the beat off and he said he wasn't gonna be able to do anything because his computer was in the shop. Oh. 
But um, maybe I don't know. maybe he already s- I, he's doing weird things with his computers. Well, he's so. doing things anyway. So actually, I have to move my. Do you mind if I move? Let's I I don't. I don't. Yeah, there we go. Because I'm looking at my screen doesn't match what's on yours. Yeah. Ball, I, um, I, listen, listen. Um, if I had an intervention banner, I I think I'd use it here. Um, you would it, use it many times prob- in, in a, any kind of speaking with me. Yes. Prob- probably. Um, I I. This comes from a very awkward place for me, but because uh, uh, I because uh, I know how much you love your camera, um, there, there's two things. <laughs> Wait, which camera are you talking about? The one you're using currently. Well, actually, I can't stand it. Okay. Uh, well, I'm really believe me, I am so ready for a new one. Good, you good, no because idea. because there's two things about this camera that that I uh, I have to say have just been driving me nuts beyond all belief. You. Um, <laughs> It, it, it's it's standard definition in a time when, and, and this is awkward for me because I rarely master videos over 480p for YouTube because I figure it's it's still the internet. We don't quite stream. I I don't regularly stream HD on online over YouTube. I don't do it, so I don't master my videos in HD. I think I actually know one of the things you're gonna say is annoying me. Like when my hands moving, and it's very like you're inter it, you you don't inter deinterlace your video. Yeah, exactly. I haven't deinterlaced the videos, and what I figured out was I was actually on the wrong setting in Final Cut Pro for a while, mm-hmm. and it and it really shows up badly on the green screen. Yes, um, it shows up very badly there. I noticed that with the last video I just did, there was I was actually very pissed off that I figured this out afterwards. Hopefully, I'm doing a test. The next video that I do with the green screen, hopefully, it's going to come out a little bit clearer. Fantastic. I mean, okay. I still need a, I still need a better camera. There's yeah. no case about it. I mean, I'm, you know, like we've discussed before, I want to be, you know, an event videographer, and you can't do that anymore with an SD camera. Yeah, it's you it's really just yeah. Can't. Um, well, so here, listen. Mo- one of the things you should check out because I you might be just stuck in 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 the uh, video camp the camcorder realm. Uh, but one of the things you might want to check out. I'm kind of saving my pennies right now. I'm gonna get the Nikon D3100. You know, I've heard I've heard good things about that as well. Um, and I believe they do actually do v- m- m- uh, video in HD, full uh, 1080p. So 1080p. it's uh, the one thing. That I gotta make sure of because, first of all, as you know, you know, I do a lot of musician stuff, and I do like to have decent sound quality. Mm-hmm. To have any kind of decent sound quality, you are not allowed to use a camera mic. Exactly. That's on why you camera. need one of these. What is that? This is a Zoom H1. I want that. Mm-hmm. You can and you can use it with your lapel mic if you get it. You, I I that's what I was using with the original Horror Wrong Show. I've used it. You know my um. Camaro test drive, my test drive videos yes. uh, for Holler Classic. I, most of them were shot with this to get yeah. the audio on it. Um, now, but is that you really like? You just had the the, the the lapel mic plugged into that, and then put that in your pocket, and or? then I sync it up after the fact. And then you sync it up exactly. after. Yeah. See, what I was actually planning on doing, what I was thinking about doing, just to start getting in the entry level, mm-hmm. is get like one of those stupid little Sony, you know, oh YouTube, yeah, camera on sure, it. Sure. Sure. Which I cannot plug a mic into. However, if I absolutely had to, this camera does very good with sound. Mm-hmm. All right, I mean it's still a standard definition camera, and it's this is a hundred bucks. bucks. This is a hundred bucks, so it's worth it. And the thing is, it's got a line in for your lapel and a line out, so oh. you can mount this oh. like the D thirty one hundred. There, you you can get a like the hot shoe mount for it and use it just as is as the external mic run the line out into the camera so then you've got it's kind of like this mini little shotgun mic happening really yeah i want that there you go yeah. so and and what i like about the 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 nikon is that you know if you want a really good quality camera it's the canon like 5d or 7d and that's just thousands and thousands of dollars but the nikon is is this like really budget friendly? I think it's six hundred, six fifty, something like that. So I mean, but you're which is getting... actually the price of the HD Sony that I was looking at too. The the which... the the one that the Canon camcorder that I have for work was a thousand dollars. Right. What the Nikon has is the lens. Yes. You know, and that's what's going to create that depth of fo- depth Inter- of field effect, and that's just going to be beautiful. Less lenses yes. are wonderful things. Yes, yeah. they truly yeah. are. So, uh, 
Okay. So, yes, enough of enough of the the tech geeky talk. Let's talk. Oh, okay. Let's talk about some other geeky tech stuff like YouTube. And um, we we got into just to catch our viewers, the, the all two of them up. Um, we got into a really interesting conversation on Facebook today. Uh, join us. Join in on the conversation. You find me. Uh, I'm Facebook.com Crumbine. Uh, this you, you, Rob Morgan. Rob, is that you? you buy You're going to hate this, and everybody is going to hate this. And I'm really going to have to change it. My, if if you were to try to find me that way on Facebook, it would be uh, www.facebook. Yeah, that's right, Rob. Actually, the yeah, Rob the, yeah, that's right, the Rob Morgan. You you should change that. <laughs> Yeah, I need to change. But, I'm but, really but, bad with making really long names. I really am. Rendered Usage so, Pro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's why that, I went with Crumbine. Crumb. I don't think you I can go with Morgan, though. Morgan. That's, that's that's probably no. taken. Morgan. Yeah, no, I just don't have that ring to it. Uh, but yeah, feel free to uh, join us on Facebook or YouTube or wherever uh, and join in on these conversations. And essentially what happened was uh, Rob had this really brilliant idea that... Uh, uh, I've uh, uh, describe it, and and he posted in our combination okay. uh, group. But go, but go on, Rob. Here's here's the idea, and, and it came to it. me. Sell me. Okay, it came to me in like you know basically looking over, and, and even like like I said in one part of the post that I had to, like I was pointing one finger, and there was three more pointing back at me sure. because I find myself doing this. You know, all right, we got we're we are we are independent filmmakers. All right, when Absolutely. whether you're doing music video, uh, drama, vlog, whatever. Once you sit down and sit, put in front, put a camera on and post it to YouTube, you are an independent filmmaker. Even more so, even more so now that YouTube rolled out the monetization, and I know everyone's trying to Absolutely. take advantage of that. Yes, which I finally got some of that. Sweet, um, but yeah, the but the thing is. A lot of people, first of all, you know, they tell you right off the bat that people are ADD on YouTube. Don't make your videos any longer than two and a half minutes, right. blah, 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 whatever. But they're also very lazy. Okay? And when I say lazy, and I'm, I'm speaking of myself as well, th there's an actual laziness to, you're sitting there, all right, your friend did a video. Okay? What does it take to press the like button? All right? What, and, and, and on Facebook, I'm like, you know, pretty much all of us now, if we do a video on YouTube, it's on Facebook. Two seconds later, mm -hmm. what does it take to press the share button? Nothing. It's a, I mean, it's like it's like okay, here you go. It's like oh man, I just I can't. It's, no, I, oh, I couldn't do it. So yeah, that's kind of my point. And and, and there was there was there was a little bit of a numbers element to that. In, yeah, in your in your yeah, hypothesis here, all, because I got a hundred right now as it stands on Facebook. I have a hundred on YouTube. I have one hundred and eighty subscribers. On Facebook, I have one hundred and eleven friends. I don't know where the missing seventy six people are, but that doesn't matter right now. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, these people are our friends, all right. And and honestly, most of the people that I have on Facebook, one way or the other, I know them. You know, I've had conversations right. with them. I worked with them. I went to school with them. I, they know me. Mm -hmm. uh, their family, friends, whatever. Now, I've made no qualms on Facebook or anywhere else that I make YouTube videos. I make somewhat amusing ones, and uh, and the, but the thing is, you know, they'll sit there and they might watch the video, but their finger just can't make it to the mouse like button. Uh, so to explain. Exactly how easy this is. I think detailed instructions are necessary. A, and it has to be done in a very humorous fashion, otherwise it just ain't gonna stick. You know, so yeah, make them extremely stupid detailed and do it in a musical fashion because people are gonna remember a song, then they remember what you say mm -hmm. any day of the week. All right, and like even Anna said, like a, a little jingle like that guy had at the end of it. Yes, absolutely. Every one of us should be stealing that idea. Yeah. Every one of us should be stealing that idea, whether we, whether I make something or whether you make something yourself, or I make it for you, or Chris Little Brain makes it for you, or whoever. Just like a ten-second yeah. jingle at the end of a video that says, "Thanks for watching. Please help. Subscribe." Like, Just something in a really memorable fashion. Like as I don't know if you've seen that, like on the end of my last video with the with the thing, I put the 
my favorite picture of Jesus. <laughs> and, you know, and I had a little thing. And, like, I was thinking, and I actually said, you know, I had a little thing, view the whole thing here. But I think that's going to get replaced with a like and a subscribe button mm -hmm. and even a Facebook button. Mm -hmm. And even if, I, well, not Twitter. I, I give a crap about Twitter. So Twitter is like, you know, it's like Facebook statuses without the Facebook. That's that's really all it is. But um, I hate it when I lose my train of thought. Edit no, this that, part that, of that's, that's okay because, because I can jump in here, although I had things in my head and, and I lost them. But that's okay because, like I said earlier before uh, you started, um, I need to get back into the zone here. I'm out of practice. Um <laughs> I think what well, actually yes, yeah. one of the interesting things here, I, I, I think one of the fundamental uh, uh, breaches that need to be crossed here is that, and I know this is this is the case on my end, a lot of my Facebook friends that I know personally aren't on YouTube, so that is the actual fundamental problem. That's why well, then that, that has that to be clicking, included in the song, and, and that's the thing. That's why it's so difficult for them to hit that like button or because, something because they're because not that, members. And not for nothing, how, how, what does it take to make a YouTube account? These, a name and a password. Well, if you have a Google account, it's pretty simple. Yeah. But, that's... you know, it is a process, and it's another username and password. And, I, I mean, that's the question, you know, that I would have to ask my mom, for example. You right. know, I, I have a hard enough time getting her to watch my videos. You know, I can't imagine, you know, even if I did a video. Videos? What's that? Your parents watch your videos? <laughs> What's that? Um, every now and then. <laughs> when she does finally watch it, it's like, oh, really? It's it's a quite it's quite the feeling actually. It's quite the feeling. <laughs> uh, but I, I that I think that's one of the, the. I think there's two problems. The first is that most people on Facebook, which is, I guess, becoming our core audience, because because the thing about the YouTube subscribers is that you, you know that blew up and that became such a uh, fundamental aspect of YouTube, and it became completely pointless, completely yeah. meaningless. And it's actually come to the point where now we need things like Facebook. Exactly, because there is no it. other audience. Yeah, th there's no other way to reach our audience. So exactly. I, I think that's the first problem, and it, it's even... And that's why I wonder, is it even important to get that like button on, on, on YouTube anymore? Because... <sighs> Yes, because there are the. I mean, all right. I have, I actually have a friend that you know. Um, I was like, well, you know, I told she was watching my videos on YouTube and stuff like that. I'm like, well, do you have a YouTube account? No, I just watch them on Facebook. I'm like, no, you're gonna go, right now. You're gonna sit down and you're gonna make it. And she did. She made a YouTube account mm -hmm. <laughs> just so she could watch and like and comment on my videos, which was awesome of her. That's my friend. Mm -hmm. All right. That's 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 one of my points that I'm trying to make with this whole thing is that's my friend. Right. She right. is my Lynette. I hope you watch this. I love you. Thank you so much. I uh, love you to death. I won't say your last name. I don't want to embarrass you too much. But, I mean, I've done that over and over and over again with my friends, and I can never get them to, well, to make that jump, even when I create the account for them. Right. And well, show them how to use it. Right. Which, so, we, like I said, we still now, we do need to start relying on Facebook because people take the time to figure Facebook out, especially since they change it every two weeks. But... Um, <laughs> They, they do take the time to f figure Facebook out. And Facebook has the coolest thing in the world. It's a share button. Yeah. And that share button could be so amazingly powerful if we can get it to get used. Right. Because I, and, and actually, I think that you're raising a very good point. And, and I hope that we, we incorpor you incorporate that in your video. Let's oh, not absolutely. focus on just the YouTube stuff. Oh, no. Absolutely. Uh, in fact, I'm, I'm actually thinking about getting a few other accounts that are out. Well, I got a Google Plus account. I'm thinking of trying to find like a blogger account or a, you know whatever the other ones that are out there right Tumblr, now. Tumblr, for maybe, some reason, is huge. Maybe even go back briefly to MySpace if it still exists. Don't do that. Never go back. Never go I, back. No, I really shouldn't. But um, but yeah, and like just to just just to have them in the video someplace, and just maybe you have all the buttons show up. It's like look at them, look at them, look at them, look at them. You know, just to get them in there. Mm -hmm. And uh, and but but one of the big things I was thinking is because I mean you know I love you guys, I love everybody, everything that all of us do. And like I don't know we, me and you were kind of having a back and forth about well, should I keep the video on my channel or should I give one to everybody? Mm -hmm. Because you know. 
All right, I could keep it on my channel, and I can well, well, hold it. on, hold on, hold I on, hold on. Share it, but let, let, let's, I... let, let's back up for just a second because because okay. we we need to get to that point so that everybody understands what we're talking about here, and 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 just. Basically, what you're proposing, what you threw out there on, on our combination right. group, yes. was to create this collaborative video because that's yes. what we do and that's what we do best, um, exactly. which, which, which is a good idea. And then, you know, the other end of that is, you know, use the community, use this collaborative community and use the community at large to start encouraging each other to, 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 to help build our audiences and, and promote ourselves from within um, right. a concept that I've been doing from the very beginning. So, I mean, I, I understand and I certainly appreciate that um, in a big way. That's why we're doing this to begin with. But uh, uh, I guess wh where I'm going with this is that, see, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> it, it's not just you. Um, Thank God. I thought I was the only one. Well, we're, we were painting the picture of where this is. This is I apologize to the That's viewers. That's the beauty of editing. Be, then when you figure it out, twenty minutes from now, you I'm can not. Just, I'm yeah. so not editing anything though. <laughs> I'm so, I so not. No, I'm gonna just post this up, warts and all. It's gonna be beautiful and oh, ugly oh. all at all at once. Um, I better not tell anybody I'm wearing my pajama pants. I'm not wearing any pants. <laughs> all right. <laughs> um, so it's gonna be a collaborative project. Um, to to which uh, you were saying you were going since everybody was going to participate in it you were going to provide a copy for everyone to post on their own channels to which my argument was you're cannibalizing your own views and you're cannibalizing the effectiveness of the video for yourself understandable understand uh, and yes I completely understand that um, but here's how it works I mean and like I could just be like all right we'll just share this video with everybody and everything but. See, here's the, here's how I look at it. And even though YouTube is hard to get your word out on, it's still there to do so. And people, other people besides me, and like you know, a lot of you have a lot more subscribers than I do. And you have a lot more people who will see the video on your channel than they have a chance of seeing it on mine. Even through Facebook, you know, maybe they maybe they maybe they're not your friend on Facebook. Maybe they're just somebody who was coming across your videos and said, "Okay, well, I like this guy. I, I have a lot of those. And that's why I have 180." Uh, subscribers and 111 friends. Mm -hmm. A lot of the people that saw me on YouTube somehow found me somewhere and subscribed to me. And um, so I don't want to lose those people because it's on my channel. Um, and I don't want anyone else to lose what the silliness of the video that I have kind of starting to form in my brain. Uh, and like, I mean, I kind of want everybody to do their own thing. There's going to be some scripted parts. There's going to be some just go crazy like this or whatever, you know, but there's going to be different things in there. And it, like Schoolhouse Rock actually came to mind. And I think I wrote that on the, yeah. on, the uh, on the Facebook post. But, um, but I do want it to be a collaborative effort and I want everybody to gain from it. And um, I feel the only, the only reason I wanted to share it with everybody is because if I just keep it on my channel, then it's like I'm getting all the benefit, you know, and the videos. But it's, not, but it's your them. idea. It's your it idea. Not. And at the end of the day, you're going to be the one who's who's editing and crafting this beast. And, and in this case, just call me one of them uh, free stock footage sites right now at that point, because <laughs> I mean, I'm going to put the video on my I, I, the video will be on my uh, channel and it will be, you know, maybe it'll go there first. And then I'll kind of distribute it around. I don't. I haven't worked out all the details of it, but at the end of the video, and like I usually do, whenever we try to do anything collaborative, um, I do want to put a full line of credits. And not that everybody will necessarily make it that far into the video, but if they do, a full line of credits. Everybody involved, their YouTube site, and links to each one in the description, and all that good stuff, because. You know, everybody that's involved needs credit, and credit is, you know, give credit where credit is due. Yeah. Now, and, they, and don't I don't want you to get the wrong idea because I don't want you to think that I, I'm absolutely 100 percent opposed to the idea of essentially taking uh, taking a video and releasing it uh, open source, you know, Creative Commons and whatnot. Um, I, and, I, 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 like I, I, the combination national anthem. Yeah. But nothing else made sense, though. I mean, come on, could I post that on mine? It wouldn't make sense. 
you needed to have that video. That needed to be on Thrumbine's site. And, and, and I appreciate that, but, you know, it's also, you know, that, again, you know, we're not distri- one instance, this is an argument I have, I've had at, at the office many times, we only want one instance of the video in one location. You know, we're building up brand awareness, in my case, I'm building up the brand awareness for Crumbine or at work, the Holler Classic TV channel. You know, you're trying to build up brand awareness for Rendered Useless Pro, um, you know, and, and when you're distributing... <laughs> <laughs> you're distributing your video content to, to various channels, you know, you're making it, in one sense, you want to make it accessible, but on the in the other hand, you want people to know this is where you have to go to get your video. Right. You know? Well, and, what I and, could do, and what, people do, and, you know, a lot of people do this anyway. I mean, you know, they have the choice of they can favorite it and everything, and then it shows up in their playlists, and they can also put it on their main page. Mm-hmm. Um which that's I don't think is effective sense. anymore. I do not no, think that's an effective way to share. I don't think YouTube as a community that shared videos and, 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 and interacted with each other doesn't exist oh, anymore. I agree. I think YouTube is a great place to store your content. Yes. But Facebook is becoming the place to show it. Exactly. Because you, you know, I mean, you have a, the people that are your, on your friends list are going to see your posts. Mm-hmm. All right. Most of the time, whether they want to or not, they're going to see your posts. Now, here's and- here's the thing, Rob, and this and this is the, the the this this is the core of it. This is the core of it. If if you have your one video, you take this one video and you're gonna sh- you're gonna post it on Facebook, right? And I click the share button. I'm gonna share it with all, everybody on my friends list. And then Matt hits the share button. He's gonna share it with the thousands of people on his friends list. You know, you know and then two them, other people. I, that. I gotta. I, and now I stand corrected. <laughs> and two other people say hit the share button. Okay, you've got about four or five shares, and say a quarter of those views, people who, of of those impressions, actually result in a click. Okay, that could conceivably be hundreds of views. Yes. That if you've given this video to everybody, those views are not going on your video. I, I understand that, but I'm not doing this just for me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm doing it for me because you, <laughs> Crumbine, you know me, all right? I love everybody. You're, you're, I, you're extremely I, magnanimous I, is I'm what very, you are. And I give... I'm a very giving person when it comes to this kind of thing. I mean, I, like I just made up something for Maddie last night. You know, threw it together very quickly, but you know, it came out really good. I think you'll probably end up getting it. Yeah, I've so, got it. I've got it. Oh, you already got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I did that last night, but I, and it took a little bit of work. Mm-hmm. I mean, that wasn't you know a quick thing. That was a couple of hours of work, but it, it's what I do. And you know what? I, I'm gonna. I think I feel that the the more when I did the Crumbine National Anthem, Crumbine Nation National Anthem. All right, I did get blessed from that, not and because I and because I gave that to you, you know. I mean, better things did. Uh, unfortunately, I just stopped making videos for a while after that. I guess I, I got tired or whatever. <laughs> that was so much work that I was just like, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> but um, that's a good note to to you know duck out on though. But that is a but another part of it is too. I mean, yes, I want to do this for everybody, but at the same time, and like you know, a Matt posted that like, oh, you know, well, I did the post all day thing, and it's like, you know what, we can do one thing and hope it works, or we can do twenty things and know it's eventually got to work because we're doing twenty things. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you know, just keep plugging at it because eventually, whether it's through YouTube or through Facebook or through Twitter or through whatever. People are going to start paying attention, especially in a Facebook situation where they almost have to. Right. You know, I mean, they can get to the point where they're so annoyed with your, if your videos suck and they're like, I don't want to watch you anymore. And they can just turn you off and not have your announcements come up. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, there's a whole bunch of people that, you know, I mean, as long as I can keep the same quality video or higher that I've been doing, I'm not too worried about that. (laughs) You know, because most of my videos are pretty good. Um, mm-hmm. I get a lot of compliments. And fr- I mean, Harrelson Nissan, they, to this day, I think the Zombies uh, zombie, Zombies video is legend. Oh. Unfortunately, everybody, no, unfortunately, everybody would watch it from Harrelson Nissan. So you know what that means. All the IP, yep. you don't, exactly. 
But, <laughs> and, and, and for our viewers, uh, YouTube is very, very frugal with their view count. So up, uh, the, here's the nutshell. Up to 300, 301, 302, that's a free-for-all. You could refresh that page 300 times, and you'll hit 300. After that, YouTube essentially throws out the views if they know it's all come from a single source. And that view count, that counter, doesn't start moving again until you've gotten 300 more views, all from unique IP addresses, and then moving forward, it's always, it's very, very, it has to be unique views from unique IP addresses. It's just very, very stringent. Um, so, In other words, you can't refresh the page 400 times and make it equal 400 views. Exactly. And if you have an office or a dealership that your video goes viral in, which has happened to both of us, mm -hmm. those views won't ever count. Nope. Which really nope. sucks. No, it does, because like I knew that everybody was watching my video at Harrelson Nissan, and I'm watching Zombie Zombies, and I barely, I was still at three-something, and yep. it like never moved. And I'm yep. like, oh, and it, and it hit me. I was like, oh, we're all watching it from the same computer, basically. Yeah, yeah essentially. So. Yes. It's, it's, a, it's a very sad fact. Um, yeah. But you know, again, you know, I have to commend you. I think "magnanimous" is a is a very good word to use here. Um, obviously, you know, the 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 you know, uh, Crumination National Anthem is a is a great example. So <laughs> you're gonna look the word up. It's magnanimous. This is extraordinarily generous. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, but you knew that. Um, you know. I when, when, you, when you put your all into a video, it, it is ex of extremely high quality, especially a music video, which is which is your your speciality. Um, so the fact that you're going to produce this uh, uh, I, a title I, I came up with, Love Me, Share Me. There you go. That's beautiful. It, exactly. There you go. That's my contribution. <laughs> I'm totally writing that down. Uh, you know, if, if you're going to produce this really epic, beautiful video, that a chunk of it, just probably, you're going to, I'm assuming you'll, you might just take a small, you know, 10, 15 second chunk of that video to use as your tag for all wow. your other videos. To, be, to just take that and just release that completely open, you know, Creative Commons. Anybody can use that. Extraordinarily generous. I think yeah. that's, that, that's great. I want to move on now. Let me get one more thing in before sure. you do. Um, and there was this is actually a part of uh, this was part of the beat off thing. Uh, the, the great devil miss beat off. You just love hearing me say I, that. I, I just love hearing those words together. Absolutely. <laughs> Why do you think I called it that? Just to hear you, Rob Morgan, call it. <laughs> well, anybody it really? I mean, it's like, hey, been watching the beat off. <laughs> you gotta laugh. How, how do you not? But anyway, it was, I, I really things. hope it becomes a thing. We we, we have to do this next year. Oh, absolutely! This is this was way too much fun. Um, I'm kind of combining two things here, but one of the one of the other things that, and this is something that you did in round two, and and I kind of used it back against you in my next video. But when it comes down to it, you were 100 percent right. All right, you the the first thing you did in your in the second video was make fun of the fact that I just filmed it in front of a green screen, and I. I Point of fact, point of fact, I've done that myself in the Beanie Boy show years ago where, I mean, it, it, but in the context of the, sh the, the, the Beanie Boy show is about a guy who's making a show with his puppets uh -huh. and that was part of the set element. So it was kind of a behind the scenes uh -huh. thing. So I've done that a, a <laughs> bit, you know, just, just in full disclosure. And it was hilarious. You're like, wait, what? What that? Uh, a green screen? <laughs> and... Yeah, I came back with stuff, but when it came down to it, you were 100% right. There was absolutely no reason why there was nothing behind me but a green screen in that video. That was pure, unadulterated laziness yeah, on yeah, my yeah. part. I, I agree with that, and you were right, and you were totally called me out on it, and I... I mean, I, I give round two to you just for that, honestly. I mean, that you, I totally got, I got to give round two to you, because you're right. I totally just cheesed out on that video what, what you know we posted a uh, which I posted is, which is why round three was a lot more elaborate <laughs> good for but, you uh, and, 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 but, yeah. but but the point the point I'm making is we are independent filmmakers and if we really I mean a lot of, and a lot of us do you know if we really want the views if we and this is something you actually said in the Facebook thing content is absolutely 
number one. It's mm-hmm. it's got to be the most important thing. Is it good? Is it is this something you'd watch on TV? Practically, I mean, some people don't have that, you know, to be that ability to make something that good. But uh, I mean, I got Final Cut Pro and Motion Five. There's absolutely no reason why you know they couldn't run one of my videos in the Ellen Show mm-hmm. or after it or whatever, you know. And the quality of the video, I, you know. Yes, we want the views. Let's make something worth viewing. Absolutely. Exactly. And that's that's actually that, that's a perfect segue because that's exactly what I wanted to get into. You know, your 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 thesis was essentially that, you know, we have all of these combined potential viewers and yet nobody views our videos. I mean, my, my subscriber count is uh, over is 22,551 people on YouTube and I know I, I you know yeah, I have other things I to have, me it looks great cuz I'm looking up exactly and, and, and I think you probably might have more active viewers than I do because I have uh, on this latest Crumb Minds Brain this brand new Crumb Minds Brain episode the first one in a, in a year practically I have 51 views on it in 24 hours I mean that just that's embarrassing so well, you know what it is too um, there's two things. That, there's, there's two things we got. I mean, because everything you do most of the time is very well done, very professional. Thank you. Uh, you know, it's it's studio quality work that you post. Thank you. Um, except the Harbor on show, <laughs> but then you're counting on other people's webcams and stuff. So that's not your fault. Exactly. 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 But the stuff that you do do like that, it is, it's quality. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, the other part of it is consistency. Con- exactly. We have to keep at it. We exactly. can't. We can't do what I did this year. Well, and you're not alone. No, <laughs> you're not I'm alone. Not, I'm not alone. You can't do make a huge video and then take six months off. Mm-hmm. You just can't because people will forget about you. You're not that important to all of them. Yeah. And people will forget. And then you have to work your ass off to get, to get them back. back. Exactly. To get them looking again. To get the. I mean, honestly, yeah. I should be taking. And this is something I haven't done, and I really should do it. My entire list of subscribers, send them each mail within YouTube because that's one way that you can still make YouTube work is through the mail system. You know, if they, remember that that they so your, if they remember that they watched your videos and liked them, they'll probably go back. It, that might, that, that might that work might for you, maybe, maybe mm-hmm. but I think but people, people are, 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 I know I, I am, so, so, so used so to seeing the spam. Have, you have over 2,000 videos. Um, there are 2,000 subscribers, you would really, especially since they'll only let you email 25 people a shot. At a time, yeah. That's, that's almost impossible for you. Me, I can do it in 10 different sure, sure. You know, things. But, you, and, but from, from, the, from the end user perspective, you know, you've got people who, you know, are just, you know, you know they, they're already used to seeing spam. I mean, that's yes, what YouTube but, emails are, just spam. Just spam. So. Very true. Although, there are people that, if I get an email from them saying, oh, I want you to check out my video, I know I've checked out their videos before, and I will do so again. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. if, if it were somebody I like. Um, there's one guy that sends me a lot of them, and his, I, I kind of spam him out because, you know, he's a guitar player. He's very good, but all his stuff sounds exactly the same, so I really kind of got a little, all right, that's enough of you. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Thank you. But, um... You know, I stay subscribed to him, but I don't purposely go to watch his videos anymore. And if it, if it was just a fact that he would, like, release a video and then say, you know, have it come up in my box, mm-hmm. fine. You know, then I got the opportunity of hitting a little X or hitting the, uh, you know, the video to watch it. But, um, you know, I'm, I mean, I, it can be used to an extent, but Facebook is pretty much going to be our best friend at this point, I think. Right, right. I'm, I think I'm in a little bit of a weird place right now because... I, I watch very few people on YouTube. I watch very few videos on well, YouTube because unless it's one of us. Exactly, and, 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 and even within our group, yeah. I'm only watching. I'm not going to name any names because I don't want to really offend anybody. Um, we'll get that in, in, into a, get that a little bit in a minute, hopefully. But I, I'm just not. Again, it's that content thing. You know, is it worth watching? And I know these people, even in our group, it's just not worth watching. Yeah. Um, Kind of like my latest Tube Dorgs vlogs that, you know, basically suck balls. I don't even watch it. <laughs> you know what? I'm sitting here you know like, what? my God, I'm really going to post this? I, 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 don't, I don't know any other way to do this. And, and you know, we're doing this, you know, almost 40 minutes into the video. So I, I'm, I'm really of the opinion, just fuck it. Um, 
that that uh, for for anybody who's who actually read our, our our post back and forth on on crumbination um or or you know you know the essence of it is that i'm saying if you want your views you know produce something that's worth viewing produce something that people can get excited about and yeah, don't just make a video in front of a green screen only idiots <laughs> do that seriously and the only thing that has been consistent because that's an excellent point. I was talking about that earlier in my intro. The only thing that's been consistent, and even this has been sporadic in its consistency in our crumbination circle, what has been two games. What is this what? called? The Horror Rock Show? Oh, that's it. Yeah. That's, yeah, I'm not to this. No, no. I, I take responsibility for this. I take full responsibility for my lack of consistency. But Tube Dorks, after um, my failed uh, reboot of it, which, you know, not to not to be too egotistical, but I mean, that was my goal to create something that has purpose and that, you know, something I get excited about. I hope the people who were participating in it would be excited about something that, you know, we want people to say, hey, check this out. This is awesome. You know, right. and that was the point of it. Um, the Tube Dorks 2.0 editorialized um, content vlogging and then it, that kind of just sputtered because of lack of interest, lack of involvement, the summer yeah. doldrums a little bit. Um, and Emily kind of just, you know, you know, uh, tried, tried to relaunch classic tube dorks. And I shouldn't say tried because she did. And again, that has been the only thing that's been, you know, within our circle that has had any sort of consistency. But you guys are making video. Even then, I, I you know, first of all, Emily's the one who wanted to do it, and she rarely vlogs. Um <laughs> Right. I right. actually meant to contact her soon because I'm kind of I'm, I'm almost at the point of worried. I mean, I haven't even seen her on Facebook that much. I, I haven't mean, seen every her now and then, well. you know, you know, working and whatnot. <laughs> but, but I know but, she wasn't feeling good for a while, too. So but you know. I mean, uh, with, with, with what you guys are doing with Tube Dorks, you've sunk right back into where we know, were the worst thing you could possibly do as a creative person. And and I posted on, on Facebook, and I'll, and I'll say it again here, the exception to this rule, no offense to anybody, really, I, I don't mean this in offensive is way, trip is Trip, because yes. he is simply a great orator, and he could talk Absolutely. about a pile of dog shit, and it would yes, sound and great. it would sound amazing. It, it really would. But yeah. everyone else, again, I don't mean this offensively, but your talents lie elsewhere. Yeah, no, absolutely. You know, My vlogs have sucked. I, I'm not, I'm, there's no, I'm, 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 there's no two qualms. There's no qualms about that. Um, I mean, even Anna's. I mean, I, I, I posted a, I posted a thing on Anna's vlog, mm -hmm. and Anna's vlog actually contains some interesting stuff this time around because she's making her wallets are, and she yeah. actually has something to talk about. Yeah. She got, I think, so far she's got like 14 views. Mm -hmm. And I actually commented, and I'm like, "What? You got a gorgeous freaking redhead, all right? And and 14 views? What's up with that?" And, and I, you, actually, you know what and, she should do? You know what she should do? Again, number one, the the the, the, the this speaks to the argument about disseminating your content to other locations. Yeah. You know, you're you're you aren't doing yourself any favors. If Tube Dorks was a huge channel, right? That had this huge uh, 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 fan base. That would be useful, but right now, and and since it's you know again no offense throwaway well, content, it's not right. really hurting you. But what Anna should be doing, she should be doing videos where she's actually shows how she's making these products. You know she, exactly, exactly, just create these these the, these little awesome little creations. People would want to see that. That would be awesome content. Yes. Which I think at this point, we're going to have to start doing, I mean, even the ones of us that are still left doing it, and myself, I think mostly, because yeah, my vlogs have absolutely sucked, but I've been making them last minute. Um, to say, I've, hi, I'm here. Yeah, basically, hi, it's still me. I'm still doing the same thing I was doing last week. Um, no, but, and what we were supposed to do, what was supposed to happen is, you know, we were sp supposed to start coming up with topics that each one of us would discuss. Mm -hmm. We did that, I think, for about two weeks, and then it died. And then, you know, now we got, you know, Tim's doing his, Move his Movember thing, so he hasn't been doing any tube dorks. Um, the only ones that really have been continuous are me and Trip. Mm -hmm. And, well, like you said, I mean, Trip could, you know, he, he could talk about this plastic cup I have over here, and, you know, you'd want one. Absolutely. Um, 
and lately it's just like Rob, you know, comes on and like I think the most interesting part of my vlog so far is the what the what I whatever it is I do right before the intro. I mean, I could actually just do that, do the intro, and then end it, and it would be <laughs> better video than if I keep going afterwards. At and, this point. and and I think that's I mean what what's so important here is that you need to you as a person as a as a creative individual. You know, th this is the reason why I, I, you know, I'll get into the, into the, into the mood and do the car cams for a little while and then I'll stop because I don't right. feel like I'm doing myself justice necessarily by only doing those car cams and, and which thank God, because yeah, I don't know if I could watch another car. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, actually your car vlogs uh, are great. Um, and I did love what you were doing for Hala Honda. You know, after the first seven or eight cars, and then mm -hmm. after that, you know, it's like okay, you know, I, I was in the car business. Uh, if I ever see another car again, I'm just gonna throw up. Yeah. So, but I mean, I, and but that's your job, and that's what you do, and uh, I'm, yeah. I know, and the stuff you do is awesome, dude. I mean, I, with, with that again, it, thank you, thank you. It is amazing. You you do really quality work, and in, in fact, I, I got to be honest with you, I'm. I, you know, I know I've said a lot of things, and even on the webcams, like outtakes that I've been totally like kissing your ass, and you know, even like with the showing off of the mug and all of that. But honestly, dude, I'll, I'll be honest with you, you you totally have inspired me to do better stuff than I've done. That's fantastic. You know? and, and I appreciate seriously, that. Seriously, because you know, I mean, it, it, it I can tell it's important to you. Mm -hmm. I know it's important to me. And if I know it's important to me, I should let everybody else know through the work that I do that it's important to me. And that mm. is honestly something I've probably been missing a lot of. Um, I mean, every once in a while, I'll throw together something super spectacular, and then I'll throw you know some wads of paper into the mix. You know, <laughs> like you know, like like put a, doing a wrap in front of a green screen. <laughs> I was better off in front of the you know on the on the side of the house it was actually a, a much better backdrop. It, it was, but you know what? Even, even it was raining that day, <laughs> which uh, is, so that's why the green screen kind of happened. I didn't. It was either take the green screen down or do it in front of the green screen. <laughs> but the green at that point, you know, Rob, you know, when when you're looking at, I, I think when you're talking big picture, you know, you know, you're better than just that. Blank green oh, screen, right? And but, a lot of this is just like you know minimal practice, and like if I was actually getting paid for something, God only knows what I'd be able to do. You know, I mean, or how it would come out. It would be, you know, it would be pretty incredible because I, when yeah. I do, even when I'm doing a wedding, mm -hmm. if that's not a television quality wedding, then I didn't do my job right. Yeah, that's that's the way I look at it with every little piece of it. You yeah. know, every shot's got to be perfect, and it's got to begin and end in just the right spot, and it's got to be, you know, it really has to be 100%. And honestly, my videos on YouTube should reflect that more. I mean, yeah, sometimes it's just like, oh, I want to practice. All right, like, for example, and really quick, and then I'll shut up for a few minutes so you can speak again, um, the uh, How to Escape Capture video mm -hmm. was what? It was like, what, 20 seconds? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, it was 20 seconds, and I come out, and I clap my hands and vanish. I mean, yes, the effect was pretty darn good, but this is the reason why I haven't released the me flying away video yet, because I've decided that if I'm going to do this, I need a reason to be flying away. I need some place to land. I need some place that I'm supposed to be going. It can't just be to show off for the special effects. I made that video because I just wanted to test it. I wanted to see what I could do with it. And honestly, I probably shouldn't have put it on my channel. I should have done something else with it. I should have done it in a different, you know, a reason. You know, any story has a reason why something happens sure, and a sure. reason you know, something it comes from and something it goes to. That was just for the point of being there. And honestly, I shouldn't have done that. I have another video that I actually, I've done all the effects with it. I went out into my driveway, kind of did a Neo Matrix thing, punch the ground and take off and fly away in the air. But until I can figure out where I'm going to land, <laughs> you know, why I'm flying in the first place, then I can't release that footage yet, you know, and, and it's really good footage. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, honestly, it, it came out amazing. I am, motion is surprising the living crap out of me with what you can possibly do with it. And uh, one of these days, you'll see it, but not until I finish the rest of the story. And that's part of your point again, content. The, the content isn't just how good look how good the video looks; it's how good the idea is, mm -hmm. and how good the story is, and that, well, you and the, and your ability to tell the story. 
It's all very important parts of the content. And, uh, you know, it's either, and at this point, I'm just starting to think to myself, I got to start either getting this right or get out. Mm-hmm. You know? So, I mean. I, I think it's, I think that's, it's important. No, I'm not in full 100% agreement. I think your, your, um, I think, I think your how to escape video is great. I think it really well, is. I think the effect been- stands on its on its own because it is. You're you're just a, a, you know a nobody on the internet, and you did this really cool effect. You know, so it does stand on you its own. Seen, you ain't seen nothing yet. I think, <laughs> I but I agree. You know, what would you come up with if your standards up here? You know? Yeah. And, and I think that's that's kind of where you're heading right now. And, and you know, I need to yeah, put I'm a hat on so I can take it off for you. I am totally starting to raise the bar for myself because you know, I, and even with you know, with anything, you know, like I, I know I've said this, and I probably are, I said it already tonight that you know my intention is to be doing video editing and you know creative videography and possibly local cable commercials. I don't want there to ever be a situation where somebody comes up to me and says, Rob. I would like to do this for a commercial or for this or that, and I have to say, I'm sorry, I can't do that. Yeah. yeah. There will never be that situation. There can't be that situation yeah. Yeah. because I can't allow that to be a situation ever mm-hmm. for me. That's that's the way I see it, and that's why I'm in here a lot of the time. You know, pretty much every night, either learning something or trying something on both Final Cut and Motion 4, and uh, Motion 5, and I'll tell you what, and it was funny because you actually got me back into Motion 5 after I bought it, because I played with it a little bit, but I was starting to get frustrated with it because I had everything on full quality and, you know, normal, and then not, you're not supposed to do that. Right, I mean, yeah. So once I started studying a little bit more into it, and you you released that kinetic typography thing, mm-hmm. was, which was phenomenal. <clears throat> and made me really mad at myself for not trying this out already. Um, then I started really delving in and really finding. And what I, what the problem is is there's not a whole lot of Motion Five tutorials out there. Yeah. yeah. However, the Motion Four tutorials, it's pretty much the same program. Things might be a different color now, or they might be over here now, but they're still there. Right. You right. can still use the Motion 4. And I've also figured out that a lot of stuff that you can do in After Effects has crossovers into Motion. Like, uh, like actually, the Flying Away thing was mm-hmm. more of that was an After Effects tutorial that told me how to do that. And it's the same process. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just the buttons are in different places. Exactly, yeah. So, yes, like I said, I, I am raising the bar for myself, especially since when I first got into this, I when I first got into making videos with a webcam, I knew I wanted to do special effects stuff too. It was just the point of I couldn't afford a thousand dollars for Final Cut Studio back in the day, and I definitely couldn't afford a thousand dollars for After Effects all by itself. You know, I never just that money was just never there. Then Steve Jobs, God bless his soul, before he dies, releases Motion Five for fifty bucks. I had to have it. <laughs> That's great. Just, That's great. <laughs> Click. It's mine. <laughs> well, you're gonna see when you watch this back that um, I, I, in, in my intro, I, I say that I, I have quite a lot of respect for you because you you are sitting down and learning Motion Five and um, among other things. Um, so so I have a great deal of respect for you for that. To to know that you're holding yourself to to higher standards. Um, I think it's cool because, again, it's something very similar that I'm going through, you know, constantly dealing with <laughs> with myself. So, you know, I've, I've obviously have a great deal of respect for that. Another thing that I wanted to say was that, you know, again, with, with the, the, the void of content on YouTube, that's interesting. What, what I'm finding it currently, you know, in, in this in this very moment right now, the TV experience. What's a TV? W- <laughs> you know the local. You know you, what, what's currently on TV. Aside from a couple of programs, I feel like I'm just wasting my time. I've always felt that. I felt that way for years. To be honest with you, I don't watch TV. Mm-hmm. Um, I I watch movies. You know, I have a, a whole collection of DVDs. I will go on Hulu. I will go search out new things to see, and mm-hmm. like you know, maybe I'll get halfway through it before I realize it sucks and turn it off. But uh, TV just doesn't hold any interest for me any. Well, I'm a big fan of, of TV programs and sitcoms. It's just that some of these programs today are, are, are so routine mm-hmm. and, and 
And uh, not personal anymore. And and I think that's what I want to see online. And they're copying, you know, they're co- everybody's copying somebody at this point. Yeah. At this, there's been very few original ideas, even in movies. I mean, show me a movie that's come out in the past 10 years that wasn't uh, based on a book, based on a true story, uh, you know, a remake a of an older version yeah. of a movie, a sequel. I mean, the, the, honestly, the last one of the very f- few movies, possibly two, two, f- two movies that are my favorite movies of all times, The Matrix, the first one, mm-hmm. because it was a, a truly original idea. Yep. And nobody had done that before. Nobody had done the effects before. Nobody had done the story before. The story was just phenomenal. And Fight Club. One which is favorite. based on a book. <laughs> which is based on a book, but I, I just, it was a very, very amazing movie. That was based on a book. You yeah. just, you actually just might have just killed the movie for me. <laughs> I thought it was an original idea. Well, well, well listen, let's wrap this up. I want to ask you, I want to ask you on YouTube right now, go I'm ahead and, and name a name. Who, who do you watch? Who, who do, do you, watch? who do you think is, is setting a bar for you? Aside from me. Charlie W. Charlie W? Charlie W. Charlie W does, like, movie quality special effects stuff. I mean, most of his videos are, like, a minute and a half, two minutes long. Uh-huh. But he does just the coolest stuff. Like, you know, he'll t- it'll be like, you know, being inside uh, Gears of War or something. And, like, you know, you'll just have the camera mounted to the gun. Uh-huh. They make their own props. I mean, they get, I don't know what they actually do for a living, but they must have, like, a, a phenomenal budget. Wow. Because the stuff that they're able to do, and you know, for his channel. And, honestly, I, I, I pray... You know, if he does YouTube and nothing else for a living, then I have renewed faith in YouTube because he's definitely making some bank. Yeah. Um, they live in a, you know, they, they have this warehouse that they do, you know, a lot of their stuff in and sets in. And they do a lot of 3D animation, which is a little bit, I'm starting to get a little bit into. Um, they do, I mean, but, you know, they're mostly, you know, After Effects and all the, you know, they, they just do amazing stuff. I, have you seen him? Mm-mm. Check him out. Um, I am subscribed to him, so I do get his things. I'll, I'll send you a link. But sure. he does some really, uh, and so like some, and he'll actually do a little bit of behind the scenes. He doesn't do tutorials so much. Like he won't tell you how he did it, but you know he'll tell you well, this is kind of what we went through to do this. Mm-hmm. And, you know, but it, and, but it's very cool stuff, and it, awesome. it is it actually inspires me to look like that's one of the things that inspire me to do motion more. Yeah, because it's like if he can do this. I know damn well I can. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, and I think that's really what's what's. Uh, I think maybe that's one of the keys about you know what Did television. I say Charlie w? It's Charlie. Freddie w. Oh, Freddie W. Freddie okay. W. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, don't know why I thought Charlie. I don't know either, but might I don't know what Freddie that, W. Is. That might have that might have been like a um, a subconscious racial slur. <laughs> and I really am ashamed of myself if that's the case. I truly am. <laughs> Because as you were describing it, I was saying, "Is that isn't that Freddy W? It is Freddy That's w. what it was in my head. Um, what? You correct me. Because <laughs> I actually don't. I I really haven't. I don't watch him, but I'm like peripherally aware. So I wasn't. One, actually, I'm not 100 percent sure. I said it. I do like yeah. his stuff, but and it, because it just you know I see what he does, and I'm like, and I actually like look the way I look at it is I look at his stuff, and I'm like, all right, how did he do that? How mm-hmm. would I do that? Yeah, you know, and then I I try to I think of the program and I look into the program and I see okay well I could have done it this way or I could have done that so that way you know if it like I said if the if the opportunity ever presents itself where somebody needs a hologram watch all right I got it don't mm-hmm. worry I got that you'll you'll have your hologram watch and, and, and you know as we're talking about this I think that's that's that is what I'm finding so frustrating frustrating about most of the television programs today, most of the sitcoms. I'm not being inspired by it. When I watch movies and TV, I like to feel inspired. I want to feel like I can do that. I can go write and, and produce this. This makes me want to do something. And, and most of this stuff is just not inspiring at all. As long as it doesn't have the opposite effect, like watching Avatar, and you're just like, oh my god, there's no way I could ever do that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't even know how how long it took them to make that movie, but it was a long. It had to be a long time and a lot of computer processor power. <laughs> yep, yep. Well, anyhow, uh, Rob, it's been great uh, catching up with you. Uh, it's been great I, being I, here again, and I'm glad this time I actually have teeth. 
I look a lot better than I did last time. I got all dressed up. I actually expected that you were going to be wearing like a collared shirt, so I was kind of copying you. I, I, you know, I was, and I actually wore a tie to work today, which I haven't done in a really long time. Um, but that was, I, you know, I got home hours ago and I just took everything <laughs> off, so I was like, screw it. So. Okay. Hey, no biggie. At least I look good. Yeah, I did put a shirt on and I put the vest on, so I was kind of like, I, I feel I. Dress up a little bit. You're like it's it's an artist thing. Uh, yeah, I'm it's trying. Like, I'm trying the different. Too, I, I this is different. I, that I, is. I, I trimmed. Different. I trimmed it all even and short. So I shaved mine off 100 percent completely. It's <laughs> all kinds of baby smooth. I I I, I, I kind of want to, but I'm also afraid to. So yeah. Plus Sam. I mean Sam's you know gonna have so a hard time with this. So. And I can't get over it every time I watch it, and it'll be. I swear to God, it'll be the last thing I say, so we can end this show. Um, is watching that God's assistant um, <laughs> video that you did. It's like who the hell is that? Is that it is, that's not Crumb? It is so funny to watch some of those old videos. That was. I mean, it was literally before YouTube. Yeah. All right. And I was shooting this stuff, and I mean, look at me now. I then. Then look at me in zombies, zombies, and then look at me and I've got no friends. No, no, and I agree, but I mean, like conceptually and creatively, that I literally was doing this exact same stuff before it was popular to do this kind of stuff. Yeah, you know, it's just it's weird to think about that. Yeah, it's just that you didn't get picked up as quick as it was. Supposed to have basically. I, you know that. what? I, well, you, you know, I I got tuned into you. I did my own website, and I was I knew how to encode videos and master QuickTime to stream over dial up. <laughs> wow. You know before. Okay, maybe that's a little you're bit not, of an. You're not even as old as I am. Old DSL. <laughs> old DSL. We'll, we'll do that. You know, before you know, before YouTube ever came on the scene with their video streaming, so so, and, and I did that on my website before, long before YouTube was a popular or a thing. So, so that's why I, I came to the game so considerably late, late enough, right? Because I was busy doing it on my own website. See, unfortunately, I didn't discover this until I didn't even discover that this was possible until it was already a good what three years into YouTube. Sure. By then, you know, one thing I've already one thing I saw on somebody else's video is they were talking about that you know YouTube had its pioneers, and once you've had your pioneers, you're done. The, yeah, you're done. I mean, you can't be a pioneer anymore because they've already done it. They've yeah. already been there or been there, done that, bought the T-shirt. So. Well, but we'll, yeah, that's we'll, we'll that, we'll, that uses me every time I see it. Yes. Well, thank you. Uh, as long as it puts a smile on your face, and and we'll we'll definitely wrap this up by saying I I, I think I think the 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 uh, the the power duo the dynamic duo is is ironically what YouTube was always meant to be, which was content delivery. YouTube was never ever meant to be a community, a social networking platform. It just kind of be, grew into that. And then it's grown out of it. Right. So the yeah. dynamic duo is YouTube as content delivery and Facebook, Facebook. as the network, as that pl Absolutely. as the social social platform. That's, that's really the only way you're going to get your stuff out anymore. So that being said, uh, please join us on Facebook if you've please enjoyed this. Join us on Facebook. If you've gotten this far, join I, us on Facebook. By the time he finishes this editing, this I will have a much easier Facebook. Uh, address to find than the one I do now, so I won't even tell you. You probably heard it already. So, but I, I will change that. I promise. I'll you, make it do easier. Do you have a public email that you can uh, that that is attached to your Facebook? Uh, rendered useless pro at yahoo dot com. There you go. Oh no, I'm sorry. Rendered Eat. useless productions at yahoo dot com. Yes, I made it even worse. Even that is just yeah. Isn't so it horrible? Long. So no, one of these days, I'm just going to get Rob at something.com. <laughs> Rob with Rob three with Bs, maybe. Rob with three Bs. You know, just, you know, just some sort so of a silly so variation so on that. My friends up in New York used to call me Rube every once in a while, so maybe I'll make it R-O-O-B. Or R-E-W-B. Rube, there you go, R-E-W-B. Wait, is it Rube? Or what, what is that a nickname for? I don't know. Uh, he it's just. Not positive. Uh, I would walk in the... Uh, yeah, I know. I would walk in the in the in the building, and he'd be like, "Rube." I'm like, "Why do you call me Rube?" It's like, I don't know, man. It just came out one day. Well, yeah. Well, 
Yeah, so. It's short, it's short. So, so it has that going for it. Yeah. All right, Rob, All right. thank you very much for being a part of this. Hey, thank you for having me again. I wasn't actually expecting to be on a Harbor Wrong show today, but well, cool. I wasn't expecting to do one. We'll see you guys we'll next see- time. Later.